welcome to Small Talk. Today I want to introduce you to my friend Danny the donkey. Can you say hi Danny the donkey? He's a bit of a funny looking donkey maybe but he's here because in our story we see Jesus tell his special friends to go and find a donkey just like Danny. And you know what's amazing is that Jesus knows exactly where the donkey will be. Isn't Jesus amazing? Well, I hope you're excited for small talk. Get ready for some crafts and some games and a story about Jesus and how he's a king. Are you excited, Danny? Me too. about Jesus riding on a donkey into Jerusalem so I thought we could make a donkey. How about that? Can you do a donkey noise? Nay! Or eat or eat or. Now all you need is either a paper plate, I've coloured mine in grey, or a piece of card and draw a circle. You could get your grown up to help you do that. Now I've got my donkey's face and I'm going to make him some ears. So big pointy ears, that's what donkeys have. One like that. Whoops. And then another one, big pointy ears, and I'm going to do a little bit inside so that you can colour it or we can colour it grey. So I've got my grey crayon, I'm just going to give it a little colour, it doesn't have to be neat. And what colour do you think will be in the inside of a donkey's ears? How about pink? Now I haven't got a pink pen, but I bet at home you've got a pink pencil or a pink crayon or a pink pen. So there you go. Are you ready? My grey ears are nearly done. Can you do those donkey noises again? Ee or ee Or maybe your donkey goes, nay. Can you see my ears? They're ready to go on. Ready? You might need to get a grown up to help you cut if you're not very good at cutting. But you could have a go yourself, couldn't you? There's one ear. Can you see it? And are you ready? The next ear is coming. Now I'm very quick at cutting out, but you probably should take a little bit more time. Now what I need to do is stick my ears onto my donkey face. So I've got some glue, but if you haven't got any glue at home, you could use sellotape, couldn't you? We just make things as easy as possible because you haven't always got everything at home, but your grown-up can just adapt and improvise. They're big fancy words, aren't they? So are you ready? One ear for my donkey and then another ear for my donkey. Is he looking good? Now donkeys, there's something here, some tufty hair. Tufty hair? Tufty hair. Are you ready then? I think I'm going to do some red hair on my donkey. So I'm going to make some hair. Are you ready? I'll show you my hair. There you go. Just like that. And I'm going to colour it in in oh it's not even red it's purple what funny color hair for a donkey so again my coloring isn't very neat because i'm going to cut it all out so it doesn't even matter if i go over the edges i bet you're better at coloring than me here we go again you might need to get a grown up to help you to do this bit because it's a bit hard now we are doing a donkey and jesus rode on a donkey that's a funny thing for a king to ride on. You'd think he'd ride on a beautiful, beautiful horse, wouldn't you? But Jesus, well, he just went to Jerusalem on a donkey, even though he was king of the world. <gasps> right, look at that hair. Are you ready? I'm going to put my hair on. He's beginning to look good. Hey, look at that. Can you see? What else does a donkey have here? That's right, he has a nose. Now I'm going to show you a really easy way to do the donkey's nose and mouth. I bet you've got a plastic cup like this at home, so I'm going to put it on my paper, draw a circle around it. Again, you might need a grown up to help you. And then cut out my circle. It doesn't need to be perfect. And do you know what? I'm going to show you a trick on how to draw a donkey's I don't know what you call a donkey, a donkey's nuzzle or snuzzle or a snout, I don't know what it's called. It looks like a face, doesn't it? And I'm going to draw some eyes on my face. 
one dot there and another dot there and what else does a face have it has a big smile so i'm going to do a big smile for my donkey now watch when i put this on oh this glue is very sticky i think it's been here a long time oh that is the donkey's snuzzle or muzzle or snout and he's got something missing he's got some eyes missing so are you ready now i have some googly eyes so i'm going to use these one eye there and then another eye if you haven't got any googly eyes you can just draw some eyes on he will look great and you ready Ta -da! we have a donkey now you could even make it into a donkey puppet you could use a stick i've got a lolly stick we can put some glue on the back of the lolly stick stick our donkey on and eat all eat all eat all eat all you have a donkey just like the donkey that jesus rode to jerusalem on so see if you can do that with your grown-up. Bye! It's time now for my favourite part of small talk. It's the time when we learn about Jesus as we read a story from the Bible. And remember the Bible's full of true things that really happened to Jesus. And we're going to learn about one today. In our story today, Jesus and his special friends are on their way to a big city. Can you put your arms as wide as you can and imagine how big the city is? Well, this big city is called Jerusalem. That's a funny word, isn't it? Can you say that? Jerusalem. So Jesus and his special friends are on their way to the big city, Jerusalem. Now, they didn't have cars, or buses, or trains, or planes then, so they had to walk. So, stand up on your feet, and we're going to do a big walk, as if we're going to the big city, Jerusalem, like Jesus and his special friends. must have been a tiring walk and as they were on their way to the big city Jerusalem Jesus asked two of his special friends to go and get a donkey for him to ride on and Jesus gave his two special friends some really 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 specific instructions about where they find the donkey so Jesus two special friends got up and went to find the donkey that Jesus said about. So, let's go walk and find the donkey. <sighs> and you won't guess what. The donkey was exactly where Jesus said it would be. You know why? It's because Jesus knows absolutely everything. He knew exactly where the, his special friends would find the donkey. So Jesus' special friends took the donkey and brought it to Jesus. And what they did was they got their coats. Their coats probably looked a little bit different to mine. And they put them on the back of the donkey. And then Jesus sat on the donkey and he rode it into the big city, Jerusalem. And as Jesus did that, a crowd of people gathered as Jesus was going into the city. And they took their coats and they laid them on the floor. And then they got big leaves and they waved them in the air. And they shouted, hooray, Hosanna! And they thanked God sending this special king Jesus did you know that Jesus is the king of the world he might not have looked that impressive when he was riding on a little donkey but Jesus is the king of the world and not just that 
He's the king of the world, but he wants to be friends with you and me. Jesus is a loving and kind king. Isn't that amazing that he wants to be our friend? Let's be excited like the crowd of people were about Jesus, the king of the world. Hey small talkers, it's time for our activity today. Now, in our story, Jesus rode into Jerusalem on an animal, didn't he? Can you remember what animal that was? Oh, you're right, a donkey, yes. A donkey, Jesus the King rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. So I think it's time for some donkey-inspired games. First, we're going to play Pin the Tail on the Donkey. You might have played it before. Um, I'm using a picture that I have already prepared. But maybe for your activity, you could use the donkey that you made earlier for the craft. Maybe you could just add a little body uh, with the piece of paper. Or you could draw a donkey on a piece of paper. Um, or you could just use your parents or carer as a donkey. I don't know. You can decide. Um, but if you haven't played Pin the Tail on the Donkey, here's what we're going to do. There should be an attachable tail that you... Oh dear, I've dropped mine. Um, that you can put on your donkey. And the aim is simple. You just have to put the tail as near to where it should be on the donkey's bottom. But you are going to be blindfolded so you can't see and whoever you're with is going to spin you around so you get really dizzy and lost and then it's a lot harder so i'm going to give it a go okay i don't have anyone to spin me around but i'm gonna spin around okay one two three four five okay no it's not that way. Oh, I think the tail is there. Oh dear. As you can see, I was miles off, wasn't I? Oh dear, not even on the donkey. Oh, I think I'll give that another go. Hopefully you might do better than I did. You can have lots and lots of goes. Okay, I'm going to go again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, no, I'm lost again. Okay, here we are. In the tail on the donkey. I reckon the tail is here. Oh no, I've put the tail on the donkey's nose. Oh, what a silly Billy. Oh well. Well, I hope you guys do a lot better at pinning the tail on your donkeys. But we have some other activities to do as well. Um, I sadly can't do them because you might need one, more than one person for these activities. But you could do some donkey or piggyback rides. So one of you can crawl on the floor and the other one could sit on the back. Or you could carry someone. You could maybe even try a race or see how far around the room you can get carrying someone as a donkey. Um, or one that I used to play with my brothers was someone sits on, someone's on all fours and another person has to sit on them, a bit like a rodeo, and they wrap their arms around them, and then the person who is on all fours is the donkey, and they have to get the person off of their back by moving around, and if you're on the top, you've got to hold on and try not to fall off. Um, but you've got to be careful with that one, because it can get a bit dangerous, and it could hurt when you fall. Um, but I hope you have fun playing lots of 
donkey inspired games. Um, sorry I couldn't show you those last two but hopefully that made sense. Can you remember what kind of animal Jesus' disciples found in our story today? That's right, it was a donkey. So in our songs today, we're going to sing all about animals. And our first song has lots of different animals in it. See if you can count how many animals we sing about. Our first song is Old MacDonald. Are you ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. What other animals do you think you might find on a farm? How about a pig? Can you make a pig noise? Oink oink. Are you ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. With an oink oink here and an oink oink there, here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Let's sing about one more animal that we might find on Old MacDonald's farm. What about a duck? Can you remember what kind of sound a duck makes? That's right. They go quack quack. So let's sing it one more time. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Wow, fantastic job guys. Let's sing another. Jesus' friends found a donkey in our story today. But I don't know any songs about donkeys, so let's sing one about a horse. If you want, you can even use a little instrument for this song. All you need is two plastic clips, and they make a, a clippity-clop sound, just like a horse. So our next song is Horsey Horsey. Do you know this one? Sing it with me. Horsey Horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go clippity-clop Your tail goes swish and your wheels go round Giddy up horsey, we're homeward bound Should we try that again? Let's sing it a second time. Are you ready? Have you got your instrument? Horsey, horsey, don't you stop Just let your feet go clippity-clop Your tail goes swish and your wheels go round Giddy up horsey, we're homeward bound. Wow, I hope you enjoyed using your instrument too. For our final animal song, let's sing Five Little Ducks. Have you got your ducks ready? Okay, sing it with me. Five little ducks went swimming one day Over the hill and far away Mama duck went quack, 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 quack But only four little ducks came back Four little ducks went swimming one day Over the hill and far away Mummy duck went quack 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 But only three little ducks came back Three little ducks went swimming one day Over the hill and far away Mama duck went quack 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 But only two little ducks came back Two little ducks went swimming one day Over the hill and far away Mama duck went quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One little duck went swimming one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck went quack, 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 and all five ducks came swimming back. Wow, fantastic job, everyone. Well, that's the end of Small Talk for today. I hope you had an amazing time learning about Jesus. He's the promised king. Wasn't it amazing how Jesus knew exactly where the donkey would be? Jesus knows everything and he's the promised king. 
Well, we'll see you next week at Small Talk. Bye.